giving a, an overview of the, the current state of play, really, and the current thinking on the factors that can promote myopia. I mean, clearly there's a, there's a genetic element there, but there's a, a large environmental factor as well that could be related to the, the mode of correction that, that people are given, particularly children, um, and their, their, their lives, how much outdoor activity they, they undertake uh, and that sort of thing. Also, I'll, I'll give an overview of some of the, um, the optical methods of correction and some of the thoughts on the way we can design uh, corrective lenses to limit progression of myopia. So we'll be looking at, at things like spectacle lens design and contact lenses, particularly um, orthokeratology and multifocal contact lenses. Uh, I'll also touch on the, the pharmacological side of things as well. Um, the, the use of, of, of drugs like, like atropine goes, goes way back in the myopia literature and you know, clearly atropine is a very strong um, drug and it has some, some pretty huge effects on the eye and the visual system. But there's some very interesting work now that's uh, come out of a, a, a number of labs saying that a, a low dose atropine can actually be quite protective against uh, uh, myopia, but without having those troublesome side effects of, 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 of cycloplegia and huge uh, pupil dilation. Everybody needs to be informed about not just the latest products, but also about the latest the latest research, um, you know, we're a, um, you know, a, a, a very buoyant sector in terms of what we do for our, for our patients and clearly everybody needs to be informed as, as to what's going on and if, if I can help there in, in a little way then, then that, that's great, I think that will be, uh, be really good. <laughs>